sponsored by Audible. Go to audible.com slash cow to get your free 30-day trial. Hey there, today I'm going to explain to you how to think for yourself. Because you don't want to just go along with the crowd. You need to be your own person who makes your own decisions. So let me tell you how to do that. Okay, so when we talk about thinking for yourself, you have to understand here that what we really mean is that there are certain allowable and approved ways of thinking. And you get to pick which are the ones that work for you. See, that's why it's called thinking for yourself. It's your choice how to think within the preset parameters. <laughs> See, there are four main types of thought that you need to consider. The first one is relational thought. You need to look at the way that the people close to you think. Your family, your friends. Because here's the thing, people inside of your little bubble, they're probably right about everything. In fact, it's probably not even worth considering anything that anyone else has to say. Those people, they're crazy! Wow, well, it's really nice to meet you. What kind of hobbies do you have? Well, I love cats. I have a four at home, so. Cats? She's one of those cat people. We don't like cats around here. I've heard about people like you on the internet. Ever heard of cat scratch fever? You sick child. Now, the only exception is if you have a bad relationship with your family. In this case, you should reject 100% of everything that they ever told you because they are all lies. My parents vote Republican, and I hate my parents. So obviously I'm a Democrat. Obviously. And speaking of voting, the next type of thought is political thought. Now, this is one of the most important questions you will ever ask yourself in your entire life. You have to decide which of the two parties fully represents the wholeness of you. Wow, political person, what are the chances that every single thing that I believe in is what you stand for? I'm here to serve you! And you've really got to think this through because there are things in this world that small, insignificant little people like ourselves will never be able to comprehend. And that's why we have politicians to make sense of it all for us. You're free to think for yourself based on the parameters set by those more intelligent than yourself. Next up, and actually this is kind of related to political thought, spiritual thought. Guys, politics and religion have a lot more in common than you might think. Both require that you kind of just pick a team and stay there. Now, don't get me wrong, it's important to think for yourself. But just don't think too much. Or else you're crazy and you're not in the club anymore. I mean, you have to look pretty hard to find a noteworthy spiritual leader who went against the grain. Nobody does that. So why should you? Jesus Christ! Why are you working on the Sabbath? You can only take 50 steps on the Lord's day. I was keeping track, I'm headed home now. <laughs> 27, 28. Okay, and finally, cultural thought. Guys, we live in a rapidly evolving world. You have to keep up with the times or else you're gonna be left behind. So when deciding how you view the world, it's important to listen to a few things. Celebrities, news outlets, articles you read online, and YouTubers like me. And then you can just like pass off whatever you hear as like your opinion. I, I won't tell anybody. See, YouTubers have such a great pulse on what's happening in our culture. And it's important that you listen to us and heed our wisdom. I am new media. Now, now don't get me wrong, again, you should totally think for yourself. But at the same time, you should probably listen to what I'm saying and what other people that say what I say are saying too. <laughs> I think that we can all agree that I am a rational, well-meaning person. And the fact that I have an audience online gives me an inflated sense of self. So with that said, if you think differently than me, well, you're an idiot. Sorry. What I really mean is, you should choose to think that you should think like me. And that's how to think for yourself. Man, what would you have done if you didn't have somebody to tell you how to do that? <laughs> Guys, I basically had like two New Year's resolutions this year. One was to not get sick, which that I have failed and hence I have no voice. And number two was to read 20 books, which isn't going to happen. And we're only 11 days in and I know it's not going to happen. But the only way that I'm going to get it done is if I listen to audio. <laughs> listen to audiobooks. Audiobooks are great because you can listen to them while you're driving, while you're sleeping, and while you're reading. What? 
<laughs> you can listen to them while you're reading. While you go read. faster. <laughs> <laughs> like, read, like read along. I used to do that. <laughs> I'm dead serious. But seriously, if you're interested in audiobooks like I am, go to audible.com slash cow because if you go there, you're going to get a free 30-day trial. And they have over 180,000 audio programs to choose from. Josh recommends Star Wars The Force Awakens by Alan D. Foster because he just can't get enough of The Force Awakens. I haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, by the time this movie, this uh, Messy Mondays comes out, I'll have seen it. So uh, your spoilers in the comments won't affect me. They'll just affect the people that haven't seen it in the comments and they will hate you. Troll. Anyway, so go to audible.com slash cow. See you guys. Jesus, why are you working on the Sabbath? Don't you know there's a strict 50 step policy on the Lord's day? I was... <laughs> And that's when Jesus hit puberty. <laughs>